Hey guys, welcome back. Before we go any further into this Tyrannus playlist, we need to upgrade the firmware on our Tyrannus. In the last video, some of you may have noticed that my screens may look different from yours. Uh, that's because you need to upgrade the firmware. There's other reasons we need to do this. Uh, not only are we upgrading the firmware, but we are also downloading OpenTX, which we will use in upcoming videos, especially if you plan to use custom images and sounds and stuff like that. So first, I'm going to turn mine on. Welcome to OpenTX. Throttle warning. Switch warning. Just to show you what version of firmware I am using. So if you go to your menu and then go to page 4 of 8, it's going to say version. If you guys can see that, OpenTX Tyrannus Plus version 2.0.2. .2. Actually, put mine back a few versions uh, just to show you guys how everything works. So go ahead and turn it off. The next thing we want to do is uh, go to the internet and find open-tx.org. Uh, there's also another website that's opentxu.org. Um, these are the really the only two websites you'll ever need when making changes to your Tyrannus. Uh, now, the uh, OpenTXU.org we won't use in this video, but we will use it in upcoming videos. For now, we only want OpenTX.org. And I'll leave this link for you in the description below. Now, once you come to this website, click on the Downloads tab. Then, if you look right here, it shows the latest version of firmware. At the time of me recording this, it's 2.1.9. So let's go ahead and click that. Uh, because I'm using a Windows computer, I will click the Windows installer. Uh, before I do this, let me explain one more thing. For all of my multi-rotor stuff, I actually have a file right here that I've named RC. Um, you can name it whatever you want. I'm just saying I would uh, highly recommend making a folder just for your multi-rotor stuff. That way you know where everything is. I've also created a folder called Tyrannus, which right now we have nothing in there, but we're about to change that. So, uh, going back to this download, I'm going to make sure it's in my Tyrannus folder that I've already created, and then click Save. Okay, once that's done, we can go back to that folder, and Tyrannus, and go ahead and click on this. Okay, once you do that, you'll get this screen, click I agree, next, next, and, and install. Once it's completed, click, uh, click Next and then Finish. It's going to go ahead and open up OpenTX for you, which should be 2.1. Now this, we can just minimize. Actually, I'll, I'll close it out just to show you guys how to find it again. Now, the next thing we want to do is go back to your Tyrannus and leaving it turned off, just completely off, flip it around to the back and you'll see a USB port on the back. So grab a cable, plug that in, plug the other end into your computer. Now the next thing we want to do is, if you go back to uh, OpenTX.org, you can scroll down and we want Zadig, which they have right here, but the thing is, it's version 2.1. It will work, but if you want the latest version of Zadig, all you have to do is just go to uh, Beta Flight or Clean Flight, and on uh, the main menu, you'll see the download for Zadig. And that's going to give you the latest version of Zadig. Uh, so that's just one thing I recommend doing. Uh, so after you have downloaded Zadig and installed it, I have a little icon right here, so I will just open that up. Next, you want to click on Options and then List All Devices. Then click the drop-down box and find STM32 Bootloader. Now, for your driver, it's going to say something else. Mine says Win USB because I've already changed it, but yours should say like STTUB, something like that. Uh, then you see the green arrow showing that it's going to change it from whatever you currently have on it to this is what you now want on it. And you do want Win USB. Uh, there are up and down arrows, but you don't want any of these. You just want Win USB. Uh, once you've done that, then click uh, Install Driver. 
Once it's done, you get this message. You can close that out, close Zadig out. Next, we will unplug the USB cable from the Tyrannus, then flip it around. These two switches here, you just want to push these inward and then turn it on while holding them in. Then release the buttons and you should get a menu that looks like this. Now, don't click any buttons or anything like that. Just go ahead and flip it around. Plug the USB cable back in. Now we need to go into OpenTX. Uh, like I said, I already closed the window out, but if you can't find it again, all you have to do is uh, just go to your C drive, program files, find OpenTX, which is right here. Click on the companion, and then click on this one with the colorful OpenTX companion icon, and there you go. Now we need to set it up. Uh, click on this little cog here that says settings. You can name it if you want. Um, radio type, make sure that you have your transmitter selected. I would assume all of you have the Tyrannus Plus. Uh, but if you do have the Tyrannus or X9E, then choose that. Uh, so I'm going to click Tyrannus Plus. Menu language, EN is going to be for English, but you do get quite a few other options. Um, splash screen, don't worry about that right now. That's an upcoming video when we deal with... Uh, that's going to be the custom images video. SD structure path, you definitely need to set this. And the way you do that is... Uh, if you go back to here... Just go to your PC, and you see all these different drives. Uh, on my computer, I have two different hard drives, so that's why I have a C drive and a D drive. Then that leaves E and F, but this one that says Tyrannus is the Tyrannus itself, but we don't want that. We want the memory card on the Tyrannus, which is going to be this one. Now, mine says drive E, but yours may be labeled as drive D. Depends on how many hard drives you have on your computer and other devices connected, stuff like that. Uh, so don't go by this, just go by... Really you could go by the file size because it, it comes with a 1 gigabyte memory card. That's why it's showing 952 megabytes. Uh, so for my case, I know that I need E. You may need something else, but I need E. So going back to OpenTX and Structure Path, click Select Folder, and once again, I already know I need E, which should be called USB drive. Um, my, well, I can't stress this enough. This does not matter. You just want USB drive. That's the one you want, no matter what letter is next to it. Uh, once you've done that, then click Select Folder. Then down here, you want to make sure these are checked. If they're not, go ahead and check them. And click OK. Next, we can go over here to Write Firmware to Radio. Click that, and click Load. Actually, let's back up. First, you need to download it. So if you go to this icon here that says Download, click that. It's going to show you the uh, latest version of firmware, which is, like I said, 2.1.9 as of right now. So then you want to do download firmware. So click that. Once again, I want it in my Tyrannus folder that I, I have created. Uh, here's the file, so I can just click Save. It's now asking me if I want to write the firmware to the radio, so yes. Shown here that it will be installing 2.1.9, which is what we want. Uh, use firmware start screen. You can leave this checked and write to TX. Now, I know it says 100%, but you have to wait for it to say flashing done before you close this out. Don't do it until it says done. Then click close. Now click OK. Now, we want to disconnect the USB cable from the Tyrannus. Turn it off. Turn it back on. Welcome to OpenTX. 
Throttle warning. Switch warning. Okay, now we want to hold down the menu button again to go to our settings. Let me go ahead and change the color so you guys can see. Okay, now you guys can see. Uh, just page over until you get to version. And now it's showing uh, version 2.1.9. So if you see that, then that means you did it correctly and everything is now done. Okay, so I'm editing the video now, and this was the end of it, but I completely forgot that some of you may not have any sound now once you turn your Tyrannus on. Uh, so the next video will be how to fix that in case you don't have any sound anymore. And then the video after that will be uh, continuing on with the playlist or with uh, creating a new model and setting everything up. So I will see you guys there.